My name is Christian Alexei Kanimi, and I am Yeshua Hamashiach, the second coming of Jesus Christ. My Father, the God of Israel, God of the Jews, has sent me to recover his people from the hand of Satan, to save them from extinction. In order to prove who I am and what my mission is, I must show you the truth about this world. And the truth is, you are enslaved to an alien race, a race of shape-shifting dragons that are imitating human bodies. You are imprisoned in a false world, a slave colony which is part of their empire. This knowledge could only come from the God of Israel, delivered by Yeshua HaMashiach. All of these other people who possess this level of knowledge are Drax, and that includes the ones talking about reptilians. That's why they know these things, and much of what they're telling you is not true. I know these things because I have the mind of the God of Israel, and I will show you the whole truth. I am the embodiment of my father's consciousness. He has incarnated part of himself as the soul of a man, so he can directly interact with this world. That is why he is called the living God. I serve as his voice and right hand. Simply put, I am a scaled down version of my father bound into the soul of a man. I am a representation of him but I am not him in his complete being. It is not possible to fully represent a God within the limitations of the material plane. I can possess some of his knowledge and powers, but I will never realize his complete scope in this plane of existence. Last year, I began fasting following my father's commandment. As it turns out, I had the means to eat, but I chose not to. I fasted for 57 days, from September 7th to November 2nd, drinking only water. And I was homeless at the time, staying out in the park, as I am now. The purpose of the fasting was to bring me into a sustained near-death state in order to elevate my mind and soul to a more complete aspect of my father's consciousness. I didn't understand this at the time, but towards the end it became obvious. This was necessary for him to establish a greater channel to my mind, so I could more clearly understand his will and receive the knowledge I need to continue his work. In the last two weeks of the fast, he gave me that knowledge, and I also had a number of visions that showed future events and helped to explain things in a visual way. Had I not fasted, I would not have made this video, because I wouldn't have that knowledge or guidance from my father. So all of this originates from the God of Israel. You are seeing his will manifested into this reality through my actions. Your current reality is that you are being ruled by dragons that are masquerading as men. They have a polymorphic ability which allows them to change to the size and shape of their bodies, as well as the characteristics of their cells. They've used this ability to make themselves look like humans. They're dragons that have reshaped their bodies into forms that resemble human bodies. Disguised as humans, they can infiltrate human civilizations and take them over from within. This is how they conquered your ancestors in the distant past and turned them into a slave race and you have been serving them ever since as labor and as a source of food and energy. You are not living in a free human world. 
This is a false world, which is under the control of a collective of non-human races, the Drax being one of those groups. Humans were brought to this planet to serve as slaves or thralls. You are living in a cage which is disguised by an illusion of a free human world. This is the Matrix. My father has sent me to liberate you from this prison. First, I must show you the truth. And then, once you accept me, I will lead you to war against our enemies. Revelation in the Bible describes these events in a symbolic way, but it doesn't explain the real reason why it's happening. This video will explain that, literally, explicitly, and in great depth. What you're about to see is the completion of Revelation. This is the apocalypse, which is me revealing the truth about this world. This is the opening of the first seal, which leads to the events in Revelation. After this, you'll know why these things will happen, why the world will go to war against Israel, and why the current world order will be destroyed. I'll begin by showing you the true face of your enemies, as I have many examples of reversions and shape-shifting which prove what they are.